Hi folks, it's Gail of Lifestyle Obedience, training for the real world, creating thinking dogs, dogs that will think about your agenda, not their agenda. So I just brought home Lambo, a 10 month old, a very shy um, golden doodle. And how do we create the right thinking? We're gonna correct thinking, not behavior. You get the thinking on your schedule or your agenda, and you'll get the right behavior. So here's the first expectation I have of him is coming out of the car. Pretty evident what his agenda is. He wants to come out. I let him know, unacceptable. It's not my agenda. I want you to wait to be invited to come out. Dogs bite one another. This does not have to be a verbal um, expectation. Just the situation. Dogs are situationally oriented. Door opens is not a situation for you to come out. Door opens, you wait for me to tell you to come out. Lambo, Lambo. Put a little pressure. There's the next one. He starts to go move off without me. Good boy. So if you've ever seen any of my other videos, the expectation is when this leash is on you, your eyes are on me. Not setting an agenda without me. When a dog is looking away from you, he's thinking about away from you. There you go. If his eyes aren't on me, he's not thinking about me. So I don't wait for him to leave and then correct at the end of the leash. I correct when he takes his eyes off of me. My expectation is much higher than the dog leaving and being already at the end where he could have made a whole bunch of decisions. This is going to correct a lot of that dog reactivity on the leash. If your dog cannot take his eyes off of you and he has to be thinking about where is the handler all the time doesn't have the opportunity to oh here comes a dog and I'm gonna explode at the end of the leash look at this now I'm gonna move out of his line of vision there's now I'm gonna praise he didn't move with me because as I said he's really shy not not a lot of good socialization for him so he's not this happy-go-lucky guy and on the initial meeting but I had to give him a little bit of understanding of what my expectation. There we go. Look at that. I started to move out of his line of vision. Let him know that's exactly what I'm looking for. So he starts thinking, how did I get Gail to be so lovey-dovey with me all of a sudden? I'm going to think about what happened to get her that way. So I move out of his line of vision. Look at that. What a good boy. I don't wait for dogs to leave me. As Soon as the dog looks away from me, they're not thinking about me. They're thinking about other things. So getting the dog on your agenda, dogs are all about establishing authority. The authority figure gets to, to talk about or to set the agenda. Look at how he's keeping his eyes on me. Loose leash, he got his eyes off of me. But every time I move, I want him to, or every time he takes his eyes off me, I want him to think, there she goes. She left me. I'm going to keep my eyes on her. Look at that. <laughs> That's the first time I got a waggy tail. That's the first time I got a waggy tail. He was barking and trying to avoid us when we went to pick him up at his mommy's home. There we go. There's a waggy tail. He says, oh, I'm getting it right. Yay, success. Mommy said, I don't want my arm ripped out of the socket with this guy. He's a big, over 70-pound dog. Look at that. Loose leash. Just got him home, folks. Just got him home. If I don't pull the camera out when I start taking dogs out of it, there's too much training that goes on between getting the dog home and getting them into my house. So, lifestyle obedience, training for the real world, creating a thinking dog. So we're going to go ahead and put Lambo back in the car.
close it all up. Go ahead. over here and take that. <laughs> so what is he saying? Yeah, I'll wait until I'm invited. Come on, Mambo. Okay. Okay. And of course, him getting here, so I took him out. Look at his eyes are right on me. Not setting his agenda. Look at that. He's been here. How long have we been here, babe? Five, ten minutes, maybe? Look at that. A thinking dog. Getting them on your agenda, letting them know what's acceptable and what's unacceptable. There's a lot of training out there to mark what you want, but there's not training out there to mark what you don't want when dogs spend more time telling each other, don't be doing that, I'm gonna bite you. Don't do that, I'm gonna bite you. So I do a marker of what I don't want. I move out of your line of vision, you're gonna run out of leash. <laughs> 10 minutes, folks. A thinking dog. We're just gonna head over to the house now. So my job here is to keep my eyes. We have construction going on. To keep my eye on his eye to see whether he's keeping his eyes on me. There we go, very good. Very important to have a term to go to the bathroom. He doesn't set the agenda to stop and go to the bathroom. I gave him permission even though he did stop. Again, once he takes his eyes off of me, he's setting a different agenda other than mine. And because he's so nervous, it doesn't give him as much opportunity to work up his nervousness. He's got to say, I got to keep my eye on Gail. I got to keep my eye on Gail. I can't spend time getting nervous. Takes his eyes off of me, I move. All right, first day of our three weeks. God bless. There's Lambo meeting Sio Bear for the first time. Sio Bear is just about a year and a few weeks. And Lambo is 10 months old. And I think they're going to be great friends. Yeah. There you go. They're going to be buddies. <laughs> that a good boy. That a good boy. Very often when I bring a dog home, I'll play with them. But Lambo, because he is so shy, um, it's a real benefit that Sio Bear is, has the temperament he has. So I can stand here while they're playing and I can introduce my voice. The, the good term, the okay, what a good boy, what a good boy, Lambo, yeah, okay, good boy, remember the okay, do what you want to do, 
I always try to introduce the the uh, positive side of the relationship, although all of it is positive to me, even having to scold a dog and them respond to you, that's positive to me. But from the dog's perspective at this point, the positive, what the dog wants repeated in his life. What a good boy. So I want him to hear my voice, and I'm using it, uh, setting him up in a situation that he has a good, light-hearted attitude about with playing with Sio Bear, the, uh, the collie here. Very good. All right, we'll continue.